In the previous video, we learned how to trim um, longitudinally in um, in a at some pitching rate. So we included pitch rate in our trim equation, and we could analytically solve for alpha and delta e. And this is the solution here uh, for the simplified case of just a main wing and a horizontal tail. Um, and uh, this this uh, trim equation actually gives us some really interesting information that leads us to something called elevator angle per g. So uh, the elevator angle per g is a measure of the maneuverability of the aircraft. And uh, that is defined as the change in elevator deflection per uh, unit load factor. Those load factors we usually uh, put in terms of g's. So we can take the derivative of the elevator. What this is is a measure of how much elevator deflection is required uh, in order to increase our G loading by one G or our load factor by one, okay? And uh, so we can just take the derivative here of delta E. Uh, it's a function of our load factor N. So if we just take, N shows up in two places here. If we just take the derivative here, uh, what we get is minus, uh, in the numerator, we've got uh, CW times CM alpha for that first term there. Uh, we've got the CW times CM alpha. And then this doesn't have a load factor in it. Uh, our other load factor is right here. So when we take the derivative of this term here, we're going to be left with this, uh, this stuff in parentheses multiplied by this constant there. So, uh, so what we'll have is plus... CL alpha CM Q bar minus CL Q bar CM alpha multiplied by G C bar W over two V squared. Okay, and then in the denominator, we've got the CL alpha CM delta E minus CL delta E CM alpha. Okay, so this is a closed form solution for the simplified case of a main wing and a horizontal tail. But um, in general, you could use uh, like CFD or wind tunnel data to estimate this elevator angle per G. Okay, you could use other means to get this. Uh, so this, uh, like I said, this is a measure of maneuverability. If, um, if this elevator angle per G is really small, what that means is it requires very little deflection to change our load factor. So that means that the aircraft is very maneuverable, okay? So uh, if uh, delta D, E, delta N is small, uh, that means that this is very maneuverable. Um, and if is if it's large, uh, that means it's uh, not very maneuverable. Okay, so the larger it is, uh, the less maneuverable the aircraft, the smaller it is, uh, the more maneuverable it is. Now, there is a danger in going too small, and we're going to talk about that in the uh, in the coming videos. And, uh, and there's actually something else that we get out of this equation, this elevator angle per G, that's even more important than the measure of elevator angle per G, uh, most likely, but it leads us uh, to another step that is uh, perhaps a better measurement of maneuverability.